Well, turning to the coronavirus pandemic, this past school year was the first year that kids got to fully return to in-person learning since the pandemic began. Yeah, despite being back in school, educators say they have noticed the gaps in student learning. Emma Jerome is in studio digging deeper into this issue. And Emma, what are the experts telling you? Yeah, Ken, Emily, it's not just the learning, it's the socialization that these kids really need and they missed out on these last few years. Experts say many factors led to these gaps. It mattered if parents were able to be home with their kids or what maybe their access to Wi-Fi looked like. So yeah, the achievement gap definitely increased and these experts say the gap between the have and the have nots is now more visible than ever. The, ch the challenge is closing that gap now. Dr. Megan McClellan is an early childhood development expert at Oregon State University. She says this is a challenge the whole community has to rise to, not just teachers and students. People said to me it, it seemed like these children were one or two years behind um, behaviorally and academically. They forgot how to um, they forgot how to do school. We will be really focusing in on core instruction, uh, specifically bolstering those literacy, language and math skills, as well as a strong focus on climate culture and voice and being sure that students feel supported and um, that their social emotional well being is taken into account. Beth Gracer is a spokesperson for Hillsborough School District. She says they were lucky when they didn't have to close school not one time this year due to understaffing, something she says was important to the district to help kids and teachers get back to normal. Even still, there is still work to be done to help all of our students. And that being said, the district, like many, is hiring right now. So for information on openings and how to apply, please head to coin.com. Back to you. Thank you very much, Emma.